Popeye said slave ships were a myth. What middle passage? What both they do it with? I can't even deny that I don't even buy this fairy tale lie. Okay, let me try. Please explain to me, cause I don't understand. I got questions since you say I'm not from this land. What size were these wooden boats for this slave trade? How many were built? Where exactly were they made? What were all the factories and shipyards to do with sailing here from Africa who fixed storm damage to it? So three by two shackled people all managed to fit. Lined up and stacked up below deck on the ship. Let me get this straight. How long was this trip? So shouldn't they have drowned the feces and piss quick? How many super slave masters made up this crew? Where they store supplies, weapons, water, and food? So little boats fought 150 million here over 300 years, then all disappear. Cargo ships today couldn't do this, am I wrong? Original Americans been here all along. Let me make sure I got this correct. Was it three or four hundred years of slave ships in effect? The years don't even add up from 1492. Where's the evidence? If all of this is true, that West African slave portal is a sham. Cause Gory Island got too many rocks for boats to land. The bigger the hoax, the more people believe. To steal this land, so-called black folks were deceived. In 1620, pilgrims got the Plymouth Rock. 1607, Jamestown, Virginia set up shop. Funny, they won't talk about colonies before, and the 1500 Moors killed them off at the shores. But who are these so-called Indians they won't discuss? Like Manhattos, Algonquins, and Gullahs, this is us. Children born from black women from 1705 were then branded as Negroes instead of Indians. Surprise? So who taught European settlers by the thousands about agriculture, medicine, food, and housing? Lynchburg, Virginia was named after Willie Lynch, whose 1712 letter made the system a cinch. 1724, the church and state wrote black codes for their war against indigenous Moors. To steal our nationality, status, our land, our birthrights, and inheritance with fraud and paper, understand? than fiction. Occupying foreigners have no jurisdiction. Psychotic thugs that believe in their god, which is gold, oil, and drugs. They deceive by their fraud. Like their genocidal wars that they brag. Their Star Spangled Banner is not the American flag. It's a merchant trading banner for so-called commerce. A word that must be conquest by army banks, bombers, and companies owned by occupiers doing too much. Those six white stripes refer to the Dutch, English, Scottish, Irish, French, and Germans if you combine them. Different draw, same funky crotch behind them. This banner means the artificial corporations, entities, and foreign agents posing as a nation. Why? The George Washington symbology saying he couldn't lie. He chopped down the cherry tree. Could that been the flag when the tree that was red of indigenous Moors here defeated instead? Speaking of that Washington name, was DC named after him? Cause Washita sounds the same. Louisiana Purchase ceded by Spain. To France wasn't theirs to even sell or give away. Washita's Empress Turner got to Bay. Won the lamb back but ain't got squat to this day. She related to another who really made him tremble. Noble Drew Ali of the Moorish Science Temple. From Alaska to Argentina, he put in a trust. In 1928, world bankers found out in disgust. So they caught the Great Depression calling in all the loans to try to delay the fall of modern Rome. But now they can't run or escape their debt cause they're done. Divine penalties will wipe them out more ways than one. All the time, I'm stolen land.